Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to convert between mixed fractions and improper fractions. So let's firstly do an example so I can show you how to convert a mixed fraction. Um, let's say we had to convert 1 and 2 thirds. This is a mixed fraction, right? How do we convert that to a fraction form? What you need to do is multiply the whole number which is 1 by the denominator of the fraction which is 3 so 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 and then what you need to do is add the 3 to the numerator of the fraction so that becomes 3 plus 2 which is 5 so 5 becomes the numerator of our new fraction and the denominator is the same as the one with the original fraction which is 3. So we just take this across. So the answer we get is 5 over 3. Now you'll notice that with our new fraction 5 over 3, the numerator 5 is higher than the denominator. So this is not a normal fraction, right? This is called an improper fraction because the numerator 5 is higher than the denominator which is 3. Now I'll explain to you how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed fraction later on. But first we'll learn how to convert mixed fractions into fraction or improper fractions, right? So let's do another example. Let's say we had to convert 2 and 2 thirds into a fraction. So we'll follow the same procedure. We'll do 2 multiplied by 3, which gives us 6. And then we'll add the numerator of the fraction, 6 plus 2, which is 8. So 8 becomes the numerator of our new fraction and we use the same denominator given in the original fraction which is 3 we take it across so our answer is 8 over 3 which is an improper fraction let's try another example let's say we had to convert 4 and 1 quarter right so we'll follow the same procedure we'll multiply the whole number by the denominator of the fraction so 4 multiplied by 4 gives us 16 and then we'll add the numerator of the fraction which is 1 to give us 17. So this 17 becomes the numerator of our new fraction and we use the same denominator in the original fraction which is 4. We just take it across. So our answer is 17 over 4. Let's try another example say we had five and one thirds so we'll follow the same procedure multiply the whole number by the denominator of the fraction so that's five multiplied by three which gives us 15 and then we'll add the numerator of the fraction which is one so 15 plus one is 16 so that becomes the numerator of our fraction and we use the denominator that's given in the original fraction we bring it across so that becomes 16 over 3 let's try another example say we had 2 and 2 fifths so we have to convert this again same procedure we multiply the whole number which is 2 by the denominator of the fraction which is 5 so that becomes 2 multiplied by 5 to give us 10 and we add the numer numerator of the fraction, which is 2, to give us 12. So 12 becomes the numerator of our new fraction. And we use the same denominator, take it across, becomes 12 over 5. We'll try another example. Let's say we had to convert 2 and 2 quarters. Okay, so we'll follow the same procedure. We multiply. So 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. 
and then we add the numerator which is 2 to give us 10 and 10 becomes the numerator of our new fraction and we use the same denominator take it across so the answer we get is 10 over 4 now if you know how to simplify fractions we can simplify this fraction right make the numbers smaller than 10 over 4 so what are the factors of 4 and 2 that we can divide these two numbers by we have 2 right so if we divide 10 by 2 we get 5 and if we divide 4 by 2 we get 2 so the simplified form of the answer is 5 over 2 now I'll show you how to convert improper fractions to mixed fractions right we'll go the opposite way now so let's say we had to convert 12 over 5 right this is an improper fraction we have to convert it to a mixed fraction okay so how do we do that first we look at the denominator which is 5 and we check to see how many times that means we're using multiplication and we're using whole numbers always right so how many times will 5 go into 12 that is 2 times right because 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 times 3 is 15 so that's 15 is too high that's going beyond 12 right we need to get to as close as we get, can get to 12 so that's 5 multiplied by 2 I'll write that down there 5 multiplied by 2 now because we're multiplying by 2 we use 2 that becomes part of our answer 2 is the whole number that we have for our mixed fraction right and then what we need to do is so we've done 5 multiplied by 2 we're getting very close to 12 right we get 10 then what we need to do is subtract 10 from the numerator of the fraction so 12 minus 10 becomes 2 so 2 is the numerator of our fraction we put the fraction sign and then the denominator of our fraction is the same as the original fraction which is 5 so we just take 5 across so what we have done is we have converted an improper fraction which is 12 over 5 to a mixed fraction and the mixed fraction we have is 2 and 2 fifths okay let's try another example we'll try a few so we understand better say we had to convert 10 over 3 to a mixed fraction so we'll follow the same procedure how many times can 3 go into 10 we'll we'll try and get as close as possible right so we have 1 times 3 which is 3 2 times 3 is 6 3 times 3 is 9 that means we'll use 3 right we'll do 3 times 3 okay so we'll use the number 3 so 3 becomes the whole number in our miss fraction and 3 times 3 gives us 9 so we need to subtract 9 from the numerator of the fraction which is 10 to give us 1 so 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 so that becomes the numerator of our new fraction we'll put the fraction sign and the denominator is the same 3 right we'll take that across so our answer is 3 and 1 third so we have just converted 10 over 3 or 10 thirds uh, which is an improper fraction to a mixed fraction which is 3 and 1 third let's try another example so let's say we had to convert 15 over 2 okay so we follow the same procedure first we'll check how many times does 2 go into 15 very simple right 7 times because 7 times 2 is 14 so we take this 7 bring it across to our answer that becomes the whole number 7 and 7 times 2 is 14 so we subtract the numerator which is 15 
and we subtract 14 from it right to give us 1 so 1 becomes the numerator of our mixed fraction and we use the same denominator take it across write it down there so we converted 15 over 2 which is an improper fraction to a mixed fraction which is 7 and half let's try another example say we had 20 over 7 so first we need to find the whole number for a new fraction so we'll check how many times does 7 go into 20 so we have 1 times 7 which is 7 2 times 7 which is 14 and 3 times 7 which gives us 21 so the closest we can get is 2 times 7 right which gives us 14 so 2 becomes the whole number in our mixed fraction and 7 times 2 is 14 so we'll subtract 14 from 20 which is 6 so 6 is the numerator of our mixed fraction and we'll put the fraction sign what's the denominator denominator is 7 so we take it across so the answer is 2 and 6 over 7 thank you very much for watching if you did like the video please share and subscribe for more